Hey Otto, how's it going? Good Nick, how are you doing? Well, I'm doing well, but my cart keeps on digging into the grass and, and, and it's sand and places like that. What do I gotta do to rectify that? Wheelies has a solution for you. Low pressure balloon wheel, hand-drawn carts and dollies, and now on some electric vehicles. The difference between that wheel and a normal wheel, we have a hard rubber wheel here, under load in soft turf or sand, digs in, very much struggling. With a wheelies wheel, planes on top of the sand, no struggle, save your back, save your energy. Pretty simple. I see there's some carts over here. I'm going to take a look at those too. Thanks a lot. Have a look at the sand hopper. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Hey, pretty good. How you, you doing? You know, I just got a great lesson on these fantastic wheels. I think I'm ready to upgrade. I'm getting tired of looking this thing around. What are our options? Here? Well, we have the perfect solution for you here. This is the sand hopper. It is a motorized beach cart. Oh, so we could use it for pleasure and for work. Absolutely. All right, motorized, I like that idea. Mm -hmm. How do we do that? Well, on the front panel over here, we have a key switch to power it on. If you don't want your kids to take off with it, take the key out, can't use it. There's a forward neutral reverse switch, so you can change the direction of the wagon. There's a charging port that you could plug in a standard charger or a solar panel. Like that idea. And those are very convenient for that. Okay, now this is battery operated. It is battery operated. Okay, so where's the battery at? This thing? Batteries are, here's a cooler tray that we can easily remove. You just flip that up. And the battery pack is tucked away out of sight right under here. Nice, I like that. So we can take an upgrade if we wanted to. Absolutely, if you want to double your range, we can upgrade the battery pack and you can go a lot further with your wagon. I also like the idea that you can't see anything to get your fingers stuck or anything like that. Absolutely, we designed it in a way that everything's stealth. It is tucked away and environmentally safe and, and clean. Um, and also there's a disc brake to adjust, you know, to control your speed and going down And this whole thing is made out of aluminum. And the whole thing is out of aluminum. Yeah, and this right here really fascinates me more than anything. I think you're kind of nuts for doing this. Oh, this but thing is... But your rails are just awesome here. Yep, we use a <laughs> Not special... Not that we want to recommend doing we use this a, kind of thing. We use a special aluminum for this and... Uh, wow. You can twist on it, twist it, and it just comes back to memory. And if that doesn't stop, uh, while we're doing our filming and I need a... Uh, need to, to, to hydrate myself. You got the cup holders? That's right. Yeah. And if you like to go fishing, mm -hmm. you can put your fishing pole right in there and take it out to the beach. Wow. Got the umbrella thing going on. We got the so umbrella post. A lot That's of the right. stuff you really put a lot of thought into. Now, we've got a brake on here. Mm -hmm. And this brake is... It's a safety feature. So if we apply the brakes, it cuts the power to the motor and it applies the brakes to the disc brake on the back of the wheels. On the back side. Yes. Okay. And then what about... On this control, there is a LED indicator that tells you that the power is on, tells you how much battery capacity you have, and at the same time, you can control your speed. Wow, look at that. Too cool. Well, since it's in motion, I think I'm going to start using it. <laughs>